Welcome back. In today's video, I am going to show you this invoice web application which is created by using the Google Apps script and Google Sheet. The Google Sheet act as a database because Google Sheet and Google Apps script is free. So this will be helpful for many small business automations. Okay, so as of now, you can see here, this is a web application which is hosted on Google Apps script. So first of all, you can see here uh, the invoice and the invoice number is automatically comes here uh, from the previous increment. As of now, in our Google Sheet, you can see here the previous invoice is 001. So it will be automatically increment 1 and it will be the 002. So for invoice, you can add item and select from the drop down and uh, select SEO audit and you can add more items and uh, you can easily add out how much items you want to add. So as of now, if you want to delete a particular item, you can simply click on this red cross icon, red cross button. The invoice date will be the today's date and the due date, you can change it. Okay, so it will also will be the today uh, to which uh, customer you want to deliver. Okay, this is your address. This will be you can change easily from your index.html file. As of now, your index.html file will be used. Okay, uh, you can change here the this particular thing, or you can also change here manually. So if you change in your app script, so every time you generate an invoice, you don't need to change it here. So it will automatically comes by default. Okay, so select here and uh, enter your details of your customer. And now, if you want to make a print of this invoice, you can simply click on this print. As of now, you can see here the print of this web application is too much professional and uh, and it, it will completely uh, fix in our page in, in our a4 page so it will look like professional while we, while we print it okay so hope you understand this okay one item if you want to add a extra notes you I, I select here the extra so when you click on this print invoice and now you can see here the extra will also print in that okay so when you click on this save invoice so it will saving your invoice in our google sheet so invoice 002 is successfully being saved we just copy this so for example this is a customer and uh, our customer come back to after three days of their purchasing you generate an invoice and the database is saved in our google sheet but what happen if you if a customer come on your shop and ask you for your, his previous invoice he just give you the invoice number you will paste it here and click on this search so when you click on this search as of now you can see here the invoice is loaded successfully and now if you want and if you can uh, you can add items here so it will automatically updates okay I just click on this update invoice so the invoice will be the updated successfully so you can see here the invoice is updated successfully so this is a feature we have added we can we can search any particular invoice number and can update the data in our invoice and update our invoice easily okay right now this is our web application as now you can see here so if you want to create a new invoice you just simply click on this new invoice so the new invoice will be the loaded okay as you can see here the invoice is loaded but i refresh my web application to show you that uh you can see here i said you that you can change in your index.html okay so when you go to your index.html just go uh, below and uh, when you uh, go below to your coding section so as of now you can able to see here you can easily change from this from 470 to 474 lines okay so i can change here MR, mri scripts invoice so when i change it invoice okay so if you are not using the test development link and you are using for uh, the customer link which is provided to your customers so if you want if you make any update you must need to save it and click on this manage deployment and here you just need to uh, because it's not publicly ever i use that developer link so as of now i need to click on this new deployment and right now i just select here the web application because i want it web app and here select anyone and click on this deploy so when i click on this deploy so you will see here it will give me a link okay i just go here in our new tab 
and open this link so as of now you can able to see i have changed this successfully so right now here is this so when i refresh this again so it will automatically change to our new data okay hope you understand this term okay now let's go back to the backend overview so as of now you can able to see uh, we have a google sheet which is named invoice web app uh, v1 okay so it is a invoices in invoices all the invoices will be saved as of now you can see here the, uh, we have the two invoices invoice 001 and invoice 002 so you can see here the date the due date so the date will also be saved and the time will also be the saved okay go to the items in the item sections for example i want to add the app script so when i add the app script and the enterprise here the 600 okay so when i uh, add here the prices and go to my web application and refresh my web application so right now when you select here you can see here the app script will comes here and the price will be the automatically shown here so you can easily add the items in that way what is this invoice items so invoice items is our third child sheet in which we can save the data of our particular invoice you can see here these three items these three invoice ids have these particular items for example you can see here if i uh, copy this and go to my web application and search it so when i search on this as of now you can see here these three items will be the fetched so you can see here these three items will be the available here so uh, this is our invoice web application setup is easy and free to use so you can easily make invoices for your business for your if you are a freelancer you can use it if you are a school so you can also use it and uh, hope you uh, you can also change this uh, text here okay so if you are not subscribe our channel so please subscribe it and go to this channel link and join our channel because we are going to launch a google app script or google sheet course as soon as possible so you must join our channel so you don't miss out any updates okay so we thank you very much uh, hope you like this video you like this concept and uh, we will meet you in our next video until that we are saying that please subscribe our channel and one more thing if you have any idea regarding the web application and we are and you want that we will create that so you will give the idea in the comment boxes because the comment box i read it regularly so if you have any idea or great suggestions you can give us thank you very much